Holy crap, the crypto market is going to go insane here very soon. I just got off the plane at Las Vegas. Apologize if there's some background noise, but <laughs> I saw the news when I was waiting to get off the plane and there's so much freaking stuff that just happened. I need to talk about it. If you don't mind, hit subscribe, turn that bell notification underneath the video. We're starting to move back up. And literally when we are at 41,000 uh, this morning, I made a video, talk about some of the bullish things, some of the things that have happened behind the scenes, talk about BlackRock, being with SEC for the third time, a bunch of these other companies working with them too. Uh, I talked about how there were some whale smash buying and I wrote in my notes, and I wrote in my notes, people made so much money on long trades when the market was moving up from 38 to 40, 40 to 44, and I said, we're going to make the same amount of money. There are going to be people that open long trades that make massive amounts of money from 40 to 44, just back to where we were. And I opened up a long. I have some other longs opened as well. Uh, this is going to be crazy. So if you want to sign up with Marjax or Blowfin underneath the video, there's no KYC and there's no VPN needed. And we're about to run some trading competitions here very soon based on volume. So I would go set up your account deposit money in there if you're interested in that and start trading so you get a feel for the platforms we're also running some deposit bonuses as well now crypto is starting to move up there are a couple reasons for that but uh, I already talked about some of them this morning if you haven't seen that video I would go watch it but first of all let's start with a good piece of news but something that's not huge compared to what we're about to talk about still massive though on any other day this would be top news world's largest oil company saudi aramco partners with with japanese finance giant sbi holdings to explore investing in digital assets they are looking at buying crypto just like every other company out there we know that the middle east is interested in crypto we know Qatar specifically recently it came out that they may be buying up some bitcoin we know that these companies these oil companies are invested or trying to invest in new technology like tesla uh even some of the bp or even bp and some of the other gas companies oil companies are trying to invest in tesla chargers for example so it makes a lot of sense to me that they would want to go put some of their old money into something new that can continue to grow in value now we had good ppi this morning zero percent month on month uh, core came in lower than expected so we are at a point where Inflation looks like it's dead. And we're hearing from the Fed now that they are leaving rates unchanged and they indicated three cuts coming in 2024. How nuts is that? The pivot has started and I'll I'll reload this page at the end because I'm recording this right when the Fed speech should be starting. Jerome Powell has gone from not even talking about talking about rate cuts to now the Fed indicating that they have three rate cuts coming. And of course, if the economy still stays strong, if, uh, or even if it doesn't, right? If inflation is still coming down like it has been recently, we're going to see more rate cuts. We're going to see more than they're even indicating right now. I wouldn't be surprised if Jerome Powell speaks kind of dovishly, maybe for the first time, talking about rate cuts at this meeting. We also have news that mortgage refinances have jumped 20%. We're starting to see mortgage rates come down, which are kind of tied to prime, but uh, or what the Fed does, but not exactly. So we're starting to see 30 year rates come down. We're starting to see refinances starting, which is great because this means that people will actually have more money to invest or spend. Either way, it's great for companies. And apologize if the camera's a little bit wobbly, I have this sitting on my backpack. Uh, but this is great news. If more money is unlocked and you know, mortgages go down, there's more sales, there's more turnover, there's more GDP, there's more money, there's more money flowing into assets that we invest in. And Bitcoin is going to be recorded at fair value under new FASB rules issued today. Coming from Bloomberg, this is huge. Previous companies could only value Bitcoin at their lowest price they bought at, which means that they would have to record losses, but not the gains when the price recovered. This is huge. We knew this was coming. I didn't realize it was today, but this means that there are more companies now that can buy Bitcoin that are willing to buy it because of the fact that they can actually show gains on it 
and show losses instead of just constantly racking up more losses. So this is all great for cryptocurrency. I mean, this is a huge day. This is probably the biggest day that I can remember in a while. Now, I want to check in on Bitcoin real quick, and then we'll go back to Twitter to see if there's anything on Jerome Powell. So you can see here, Bitcoin's moving up. Like I said, I didn't open up another, I did open up another long, or I added to a long, um, because I think that this is really a turning point. Like I've said over the last few days, in bull markets, dips are meant for buying. Yesterday, I was buying altcoins. A couple days before, I was buying altcoins. Today, I'm going long because we continue to see a huge appetite for Bitcoin and crypto assets. I mean, I covered it yesterday. There are there are different ETFs and funds and trusts that are spiking to levels that we have never seen, premiums we've never seen. I mean, people will pay 10 times what Solana costs just to get access to it. So when they can eventually buy Solana, eventually down the road, that means that they will be willing to pay a lot for it. You can see Bitcoin's continuing to spike. Now, does this mean that we're not gonna see any volatility in the future? No, we're gonna see dips. We're gonna see 10, 20, 30% dips all the way up. I already saw some people getting bearish over the last couple of days, wondering if they should buy, saying that their portfolio was down huge. The fact is your portfolio is gonna go up huge and it's gonna go down huge. I think for me, I have a video recorded talking about my ex exit strategy, but for me, it's more about when than what price. So I'm looking at selling at some point, hopefully all my alts. I'll keep probably most of my Bitcoin, but for me, it's a question of when in the cycle. It's not a question of does Bitcoin hit $100,000 or $150,000. I'll be taking it based on market conditions, but also based on where we are in the cycle. Because historically we have had things happen at a very specific time. Now I can see Bitcoin's price moving up. Of course it could be from big buyers, but it may be due to what Jerome Powell is saying. So F only one FOMC member sees six rate cuts uh, in 2024, 4C, four rate cuts, 6C, three rate cuts, 5C, two, one C's one and two C zero. So some people are saying a percent and a half. This is the most confused year head OFC, F, FOMC has been in years. Bitcoin and crypto to be measured at fair value accounting. That's what we already talked about. Of course, we continue to see more wallets get Bitcoin. This isn't what this chart says, but I saw this from Will earlier. We have 50 million non-zero Bitcoin wallets now. So we continue to get more and more adoption, continue to get more and more people buying. And as I have said in the past, we will see more and more people come into crypto, come into these alts, and we're going to have a crazy blow off top at some point. So if you're wondering, is it too late to buy? No, but you can't let little shakeouts like this get you uninterested in the market. I even saw it in my own videos. I saw I saw lower numbers of people watching the last few days. That's where you want to pay attention. So again, if you want to sign up, you can sign up underneath the video to start trading over on Margex and Blowfin. I'm going to get insane gains over the next couple weeks, over the next couple months, over the next couple years. The key is to keep everything under control and make sure that you're comfortable with the risk you're taking. So if you are, you can check out the link underneath the video to Margex and to Blowfin. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know which of, the, which of these pieces of news you think is the biggest deal, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, I should say this too. For anyone that doesn't know why rate cuts are so important, rate cuts allow us to borrow at lower percentages, which makes it so that there's more money flowing through the economy, right? If you can get a 0% loan, you're much more likely to take that loan and go invest it, spend it versus holding on to it. So that makes GDP move faster. That makes investments go higher. That makes it a little bit more interesting to do that on your house, take a loan on your car to take a loan, which brings more money to banks and other institutions and also gives us more money to pile into the market. And it also means that there are more people willing to invest as opposed to putting it in a money market or a savings account. So that's something you have to consider. So I appreciate it just for anyone that wasn't in the know on that. That is probably one of the most impactful things for the market right now. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video.
拜。